Hello, we are back Monday. Pretty nasty day Monday. And uh, everyone is hating Monday. Or maybe not everyone. Maybe the ones which are not working Monday. Maybe probably they are uh, they are happy about Monday. Welcome back after a weekend, you know. Having a nice weekend with the family and you start working. <sighs> Many things happened last week, a lot. Okay, so let's start fixing something. I even called in the morning to take the day off. And uh, I couldn't. We have a Lenovo laptop. Let me find the charger, please. You have the charger. So we. This is not Lenovo. This is Team. Oh, it is Lenovo. Lenovo ThinkPad. Yeah, same thing. That's not the charger. Let me find the charger. And it's dead. The problem is. I've been off Saturday, so my colleague checked the laptop. And I asked him, you know, what, what did you do? I opened, I reset the BIOS, and it's not working, I left it for you. But, like, did he check anything with a multimeter? You know, it's an electronic device. Did he check? Oh, I, I didn't know. If you show me what, I'll know. You know, we have, like, over 500 videos uh, on this channel. And, uh, anyway... So we have a nice i5 7 gen. We have no light on the charger, as you can see there, and it's not coming on. Where is the power button? We don't even have a power button. Oh, it's here, yeah? Pressing the power button. And nothing happened. It's not coming on. We have no charging light, nothing. Here is no light. It's just dead, yeah? So let's open this and check quickly. See if we can fix it, maybe we can't fix it. If we can't fix it, you know, I'll still upload the video. Because it's good, you know, people can see what has to be checked and how. Yes. Okay. Just a basic laptop is looking decent. Let's plug the charger. Charger is plugged in. Let's get the multimeter. <coughs> charging board and we have 20 volts you can see here we have a fuse you have two MOSFETs and you have a carbon resistor here and probably this is the main power rail which is 20 volts so we do have 20 let's see 3.3 checking on the coils has to be probably one 3.3 1.2 Why that one is 1.2? Ay, 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 ay. So this coil is burning hot. Oh, this is crazy. Let me take out the hard drive. Now let's check together. Wow. Usually you will not find burning coils because. Um, any power supply has a protection of over current.
you'll not find this fault you'll not find it's 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 weird so even if the current is too high let's say the high side mosfet is shorted yeah or the high side and low side it's uh, they are shorted you have this you see this car this current sensor here so when the current goes up it will cut down the the power so the coil will not get hot but on our case it's not hot so that means the battery probably is dead let's check together so i can't explain how a coil can get hot i can't because even this power supply has his own protection but let's say we, we have shorted mosfet you have this protection you have here two mosfets and the carbon uh, uh the, the 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 current sensor which have nothing to do with the other power supply so um, it's weird and let's say the mosfet is only partial shorted and the current is not going so high and that's the reason why the coil is getting hot can be weird but can be okay let's see under the microscope what's going on here It's not working. It is working. So something, I think the coil, because the coil, I burn my finger on the coil. This coil. So let's try with some petrol. And let's plug the charger, I'll plug the charger. No, the MOSFET, and it's a dual MOSFET. One more time, plug in the charger, check that MOSFET, yeah? And it's a dual MOSFET, yeah? Plug the charger, take out the charger. Plug the charger, take out the charger. Ah, uh, it's not a coil. And it's a dual MOSFET, yeah? You can recognize easily dual MOSFETs because they have two gates, yeah, one gate, two gate, okay? You have three pins here, three here, and you have under, you see this track is coming from the other under the MOSFET, yeah? They are three to plus, three to minus, and on the middle of the MOSFETs, you know how it's a power supply, you have this track with a coil. So, let me understand. So the MOSFET somehow is shorted, but we still have 1.2 on the output. Give me one second. Okay, but still we have 1.2. What about if we have a shorted output? That can be a reason why the MOSFET is getting hot. Let's try. Let's leave the petrol, yeah? Let's try and comb with 1.2 volts the output of that power supply. I don't know what power supply is. I can only suppose it's the 3.3 .3 volts one, but I'm not sure. It can be any. So we have 1.2 volts. Ground, let's see, plus. Check the MOSFET, yeah? So actually, is nothing taking power here on this side, going f to some something which is it need this power supply? No. Actually, the MOSFET, yeah? 
You see the MOSFET itself is getting hot. Check how the petrol is running out from that MOSFET. You can see? That's how you check if the problem is a short on that power rail or actually the MOSFET. In our case, the MOSFET. Now the biggest problem is the, the double MOSFETs are hard to be found. I remember Samsung boards, they have a dual MOSFET. Let me grab out the battery, but I'm sure it's zero volts. Now let's try and find a dual MOSFET. You know what happened? You know the launch with the NVIDIA graphics card? You know, that's funny. Now, I'm not looking for an NVIDIA graphic card. Diana, she's looking for an NVIDIA graphic card. The new one, the 3080. You know the 3080, which is... The 3080, RTX 3080 graphic card is a 650 pound graphic card. And, uh, and on the benchmarks, it's better compared with the graphic card from the last year, 2080 Ti, which is like 1200, yeah? Which is crazy, so the, 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 the video card, which is double like that one, it's not double, it's better than that one. Actually, it's the price is like half. So they launch Friday, I think, 2 o'clock. And from... Uh, from... Um, uh, was from Notify, get straight to out of stock. And everyone is crazy, everyone is angry. No one actually bought that graphic card. NVIDIA statement, they said, you know what, it um, was an error, and that's the reason, but the truth is somewhere else, yeah? Everyone is thinking they try a fake launch, just to release the board before the PlayStation 5, the, the graphic card. Even Diana is angry, you know? It's, she was looking to buy that graphic card. And it's crazy. So actually, there's no way how you can buy that graphic card. You can buy... Um, you can't buy it. So if you go even on eBay, the, 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 the people are selling for like 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 3, pounds that graphic card, which is insane. It's insane. So the whole community, you know, the gamer community, they're all angry. And this Friday, 2 o'clock, the 3090 will do, uh, get released by NVIDIA, which is the best graphic card from this uh, planet. And probably it will be the same. It will run out instantly. So let's try and find a dual MOSFET. Because that's the idea, dual MOSFET. Told you are hard to be found. Told you. Or maybe not. Let's see what do we have here. Yeah, that's not dual. Hard to be found, I told you. So all you have to look is for two gates. When you see a laptop with two gates, okay, that's a dual MOSFET.
Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, let's check together. So you see that MOSFET? So actually that MOSFET has two gates. You can see it? So that's the one. Do we have more? Yeah, look, even this one has two gates. You can see? Okay, so let's swap that one. Let me see the chip position. We will swap with this one. Yeah, with this one. Okay. First, we have to remove the that one from the board. Let's find some flux. And on the new one from the other board, put some flux even here. Okay. Now let's remove the MOSFET. One sec, give me one second, give me one second. Okay. Let's remove this one. The MOSFET is out. Let's take the other MOSFET out. Yeah, this one. You see the truck under the MOSFET? That's what I explained to you. Now let's solder the MOSFET. The MOSFET is soldered. Now all we have to do is to cool down the MOSFET. And we can test it. I'll use a thermal pad. Pretty weird fault. Pretty weird fault. I think we should be fine, yeah? It's okay, it's cool down. Yeah, let's plug the charger. Let's plug the charger and see. Charger is plugged in. And same story. Okay, where is the old one? Hmm. Let's see petrol, power, same story. Uh, So what does it mean? That means the driver is faulty and the driver is telling him it's telling to the MOSFET to be open. Open wide. Well, let's find the driver. Let 
the output is weird, the output 1.2 volts. Why there will be 1.2 volts? I should check when I took out the MOSFET, I should check the output. But I was so sure it's the MOSFET, because usually, yeah, they are carrying a lot of current, so they are getting faulty. But looks like we replaced the MOSFET and it's doing exactly the same thing. So we have to strip down everything. How do you take how? Oh, it's a clip. Plastic clip. Okay, has some screws here. The battery is out. As a touchpad, touchpad cable. Now let's take out the motherboard. So it was not that easy how, how I thought, you know. So yeah, it's only the MOSFET. Let's replace the MOSFET and. Okay. One second. I'm really sorry, I forgot the... I forgot the camera. Weird design. So let's see. Our MOSFET is there. So our driver should be this one. Okay, I think we found the problem. Or maybe that's not the problem. I think that's the problem. I think, I think the heat was coming back, was coming, uh, the heat was coming from the other side of the board. So you see the heat on the middle of the MOSFET? Actually, it's not from the MOSFET. It's from a capacitor on the other side of the board. So let me show you. You can see the color of the capacitor. You can see the car. Look, it, 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 it's it, it's not even point testing something. Look at that capacitor, yeah, and it's exactly on the other side of the of the board, which is crazy. It's insane. I was tricked. 
can't believe. Uh, we'll melt the plastic. Uh, I'll melt the plastic. Okay, that should be fine. So now there's no cap there. Okay. There's no capacitor. Let's put back the board. And let's test one more time, yeah? <sighs> you know what? Let's just plug it. And check. No, it's cold. Let's check the voltage. But I don't think... I don't think this... Or maybe... We have 10 volts. 9.5. Probably it's the MacBook style and that's this power supply is the one which is always... No, the board is on. The board is it's, it's on. So let's, check, so let's check some voltages. The fan is spinning. I've seen some spinning. It's 1.1 volts here. What do we have here? Here we have 1.2 volts. Let's see this power supply. We have 3.3. You see that's the 3.3 one. And this one is 5 volts, so the board is working, the board is on. Crazy, crazy. I should put that dual MOSFET, this one, I should keep it somewhere. Because it's good. Hmm. Insane fault, insane. I was tricked. So the heat was not from the MOSFET, the, the heat was from the capacitor from the other side of the board. A capacitor which was like tricky shorted with low with high resistance. So that capacitor has a high resistance because we checked and we still have on the main power rail we have 20 volts. Crazy. Crazy fault. I didn't think that heat is coming from the back of the MOSFET, actually, it's not from the MOSFET. Hmm. You see how easy you can get tricked? Well, lesson learned, yeah? Next time. We'll think about that, you know. The heat is from the MOSFET, or maybe it's from the other side of the board. Crazy. Now let's plug each connector. Let's test one more time. But you know what I think? I think because the MOSFET is near to the battery, probably is the one which is charging the battery. That can explain why, why there is like 10 volts. And that capacitor, no, it's not on the, it's not on the output. It's on the input, on the 19 volts power rail. Crazy. Let's test it one more time. Plug the charger. 
the fan is spinning the BIOS is reset, was no BIOS battery so you have to wait in the beginning he will restart himself I think or you have to press the power button or something like that let's see what we have to do I think it's still on, well let's wait maybe it's not working, who knows it's still no picture, let's check again some voltages now it's off, ok now the fan is spinning and it's off again no it's not off, it's on it's on it's still on and we have picture yeah. what was saying? let's plug the battery was saying something about the power? Let's see what error we have there. Plug the charger. Uh, let's screw the battery. We have the charging light on the charger. No, the MOSFET is fine. We have the charging light there. Let's try one more time. Power on. Yeah, check time and date. Press F1 to continue. Enter in setup. It's working fine. This is a Lenovo Yoga 370, yeah? Check time and date. Escape. And it's loading the windows, you can see. yeah it's working fine okay so I'll not keep you here because that's the long part when you have to put all the screws and put all, all back together everything is working fine that was the issue and even you replace the MOSFET with a different MOSFET keep in mind yeah we didn't care what he's saying on the MOSFET we didn't care what he's saying on the new MOSFET and we replaced the MOSFET the dual MOSFET yeah and it's working fine with the new MOSFET, not with the old one with this one but even this one is good this is a dual MOSFET you can see the configuration on the back of the MOSFET, the pins ok so I'll stop now have a nice Monday thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one probably later on today or tomorrow. Yeah. Bye.